Hi, my name is Erica Deem, and I wanted to share with you as we close out this series the importance of considering time for yourself and how to take care of your needs while taking care of everyone else. If you're anything like me, and I know that some are better than this than others, it's a continuum of self-care, and at times you're going to be better at it than others. And I'd like to encourage you as you're being intentional about your summer planning to make time for you, whether it is scheduled on the calendar or a part of your bucket list or a part of the system of support that you consider putting in place to help each of your family members have the best possible summer. I want to encourage you that it is worth it to place yourself as a priority on there. Often we can get so focused on the kids and their needs and and that is all very valid and important, but they're watching us and we are modeling what adulthood looks like to them. And whether you feel that you have bandwidth or not, I think we all want better for our kids than even we've been able to figure out ourselves. And so if we can support you in that journey of finding ways to make time for yourself, if that includes reaching out to others in your community or family unit, then please do it. Please know that it's worth asking for support to find a way to carve out time for yourself. Some options of what that can look like are taking a few moments, either at the beginning or end or another part of the day, just to be by yourself to have a moment, whether that is in silence or reading or journaling or taking a bath or something else that feels good to you. Maybe it looks like going for a walk by yourself or with a friend, and maybe you need to ask for someone to help watch your kids while you do that. And while that might feel hard and like a big ask, ask, I feel like many of our neighbors or family members might be willing to step up if they knew it was for your self-care and to help you be the best possible parent or caregiver that you can be. It may look like making time for a physical or a dental appointment or something else that you've been putting off because it doesn't feel like it is as important as appointments you need to make for the kids. But if you take care of yourself, if you make sure you're asking the doctor about those things that perhaps have been bothering you that you haven't even given the proper time and attention, then you'll be stronger and healthier for your kids. If that means taking some time away, either with a spouse, another family member or friend, or again, by yourself, then please do what you can to consider making that happen this summer or soon because you're worth it and because we want better for our kids. We need to be better for not just their sake, but for ours as well. So I hope that as you look at your summer plans, you will find that time for self-care. And I hope that as you look at our information, you'll consider the resources that are out there because you are not alone. Other people have figured this out before and are even thriving, even now. And whether that can be the case for you or not, I know that all of our situations are different, but I firmly, firmly believe that it can be better if we start with taking care of ourselves. And from a personal note, I've noticed as I've started to make more of those decisions for self-care myself, that impact has trickled down and is reflected back to me and the joy that my kids have at the recognition of the impact of those things, at their encouragement for me to do some of those things that bring me joy and peace at times where previously it would have felt like the last thing I could have done was step away. But they're seeing how sustaining those decisions have been for me that they're even encouraging me. You know, we've got this. Go ahead and go on your walk with your friend. You know what? I've got the kids for a little bit. Why don't you take a breather? How can I support you? They're noticing the impact that kind of support can have. And I know that each of us has a different network and family structure, 
but I do believe each of us can create that with the community we have. So please, if we can be a part of that community, if we can help you navigate yours, please do reach out and please do take advantage of the resources that we've shared with you. Thank you for watching and thank you for all you do, not just for your kids, but also for yourself. Take care.